Hello and welcome to this new video about Nextcloud tips. Today I want to talk about exporting some data saved in a Nextcloud instance, such as calendars, contacts and news sources. I lost some of this data during an upgrade from Nextcloud 24 to 25, so I decided to look for solutions. Calendars, contacts and news sources are in fact stored in the database. To be able to retrieve this data without Nextcloud, the only way is either by exporting it or using specialized programs. Although you can export this data manually by going through the three apps in the web interface, this method will be impractical to automate. Nextcloud provides an HTTP API for lots of things, and all you have to do is to connect to the correct URL and use authentication. So, I created a simple Python script that manages these kinds of backups. In my case, a systemd timer calls a script every night. The resulting files are all text files. VCS format for calendars, VCF for contacts and OPML for news sources. At the moment, only these three elements are supported, but in the future I may extend it by simply adding a new condition right here. The script reads its configuration from a YAML file and iterates through each configuration block. Depending on the block, a specific endpoint is called through an authenticated HTTP request. If the request succeeds, the file is saved in binary mode. Let's now have a look at the configuration file. A configuration block is composed by host, user, password, name and type. The host corresponds to the FQDN, i.e. fully qualified domain name. User and password corresponds to the credentials you use to log into your next cloud. If you don't like using your main password, you can generate an app password from the user settings, like this. The name field is used for calendars and contacts. In Nextcloud, you can use multiple address books and calendars, so this field is a way to identify them. The type field can only have three values, calendar, address book and news. The last element in the configuration file is output based here. This is the directory inside which all the files will be saved. I'll now prepare a new calendar, contacts and news sources. I'm also going to copy the URLs and adapt them to be used in the YAML file. Now, 
before launching the script, you need to install PyYAML, which is the only external dependency needed. On Debian, you can do apt get install Python 3 YAML. Let's launch the script and see what happens. The script tells us that all the exportings succeeded. If an error arises, the program terminates with a message. Just in case, I'm going to check if the exported data is legit by trying with three different programs. Thunderbird for contacts, Quite RSS for news and Evolution for calendars. Exporting like this works perfectly, but remember to set up these backups along with a cron system such as a system D timer to get things fully automated. That's it for this video, I hope you found it useful. Like, subscribe and comment, bye bye!